I figured I'd show you one more thing. I loaded up some G code that I created for uh, it's a it's a plate to hold uh, uh, crap the CNC shield. I I cut it out of out of uh, cutting board material. Figure I'll I'll let it run here. Let you show. This is the speed I cut it at. So here we go. Drilling the holes, doing the plunge. So those are drill, drilling five millimeter holes why it's doing the spiral down. Should be the last five millimeter hole here. Now we should go cut the outside of the pattern around. So you can see this is the stuff I'm cutting. You see there. And that's the speed I run it at. You can see that's a El Chico bit. I run those bits or I'll run, try to hold the camera and get one out while it's running. Bits, gotta get the focused here. From bang good, but I run those run the same speeds, but I run them over on the um on the CB machine. This should be just about done. It's what pass uh, uh, I believe it's to be eight. Yeah, it should be done. So that's done. So yeah, it'll run the same thing over on the CB machine. Run those bits, same type of speeds. I actually sometimes run this one a little faster. But yeah, that's it. Like I said, no fans whatsoever on that. Current turned up. Standard ox build, you know. Same thing. I guess it's a little different. I had these little wheels in here because <clears throat> how unsturdy the Z is. But you get the idea. In case I missed it the first time, let's go back and of course I gotta get it. I grab it with my mouse because I'm trying to do this one-handed. There's the settings. What you just saw being cut was with those settings. And I cut plenty of HDPE that way. Alrighty. Good luck, have fun.